What's up, boys? Welcome to the Wabajack tutorial. If you want to download Skyrim mod list without all the fucking hassle, then download Wabajack. Now, step one, we're going to go to wabajack.org. We're going to go download. Boom. You're going to put it onto your SSD if you have one. If you don't, it's fine. You'll still live. You're going to, it's going to suck, but you'll live. So once it's on your SSD, we're going to come into a folder like this, right? This is our Wabajack. Boom. Here. Now we're going to make a downloads folder if you don't have one. Uh, and if you do have one, you're just going to go into that folder. You're going to make a mod list folder inside that folder. Then click there, and then boom. When you want to install a new mod list, you're going to make a folder with the name of your mod on it. This keeps it nice and organized, and you'll install the mod right here. As you can see, I have Fable Lore right here. Now, when you want to download on Wabajack, first thing you do, you open it up, you get to Wabajack here, boom. Here's how you browse your mod lists. Here's how you create mod lists. We're going to click Settings, right? You're going to log into Nexus Mods. If you don't have Nexus Premium, I'm going to grow a full beard before you're able to really download anything, so please just get it. It's like $2.99. American dollars or something real real cheap uh, So yeah, when you want to find your new mod list, you're gonna click browse mod lists. Uh For me, I use special edition. So boom, we're on special edition. You can look through these mod lists. You'll see this button here, right? We're gonna click download If this happens where it doesn't show this blue bar You're gonna close it boom You're gonna reopen Wabajack It's gonna check for updates again Boom, it's reopened. You're going to browse mod list again. Then we're going to click this button again. Okay, it didn't work again. Sometimes this will happen. It won't work. Uh, you'll just want to keep opening and closing it. We might even have to go like task manager it. For me, though, I don't really want this mod, so we're not going to worry about that. So yeah, if that does happen to you, just know all you really have to do is just kill it. And then, oh, look, it looks like it's starting actually right now. See, this, this blue bar will go through. Uh... And it'll let you go to this new screen, which will pop up in a second. You go to a new screen, and this is where you choose where you want to install it. And download it to. Come on, computer, you got this, baby. Boom. Okay. Uh, only installed. Where did all the... So, I'll be real. The loader, like, Wapadex thing, it's a little, little iffy sometimes. But it gets the job done. That's all that matters. As you see, we have it on Special Edition, but showing us Fallout and stuff. Yeah, all we have to do is just, boom. Back here. There we go. Anyways, back to the mod list we were fucking around with. Where's it at now? Boom. Okay. So now, you see how the button changed? Boom. It'll bring up it'll bring up these things in your browser. Don't worry about these. Uh, this basically just will let you know how to use it, how to download it properly. Uh, so yeah. Target mod list. We have our mod list here, right? We're going to click this three buttons. We're going to go into our downloads in the mod list, and we're going to create a new folder. New folder. This is called Tempest Maledictum. So if this was your mod list, you're going to name it whatever your mod list name is. Just keep it organized. Boom. We're going to choose this. Select folder. It's going to create its own downloads folder in there. And you just click this play button. It'll go through and start downloading things. I'm not going to download this mod list, though. So... So you can figure that one out. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make a folder. It's going to look like this one here. All right, and all we all we care about in here is you're going to scroll down. You're going to see Mod Organizer. You're going to click that open. Boom. It's going to open up like this. If you're a Chad, you go to File. Where is it at, actually? You go to, you go to these settings here. All right? And click Theme, and you're going to go Paper Dark. This is the base here you don't want this this hurts your eyes oh, uh, don't click buttons either but yeah i just recommend going right here and going to paper dark boom now if we want to run the mod list what you're going to need to do is open up your steam obviously make sure you have skyrim special edition downloaded or whatever game you're modding for then you're going to click run when you click run it's going to pull up a pop-up here and it's going to start opening the game uh as long as you have your Steam open, it should work just fine, no issues. As you can see, it's starting to open the game. It'll take a minute though, especially if you're on a, an HDD. I swapped all my mods over to this SSD. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you, uh, once you have everything downloaded and it's good to go and you click this and run, it should open just fine. It, it will take time, just to be clear. It is loading up a bunch of shit, like it's opening now. Um, and yeah, and then you're pretty much good to go. You have a Skyrim mod list, Fallout mod list, whatever you're into. There's not too many games on there yet. I think there's a Cyberpunk one and No Man's Sky. There's Fallout ones for Fallout 4 and New Vegas. And then there's 
uh, Skyrim and Oblivion, I believe. Don't quote me on the Oblivion one. Yeah, congratulations. You can play highly curated mod lists at your fancy with Wabajack now. I hope you enjoy it. And hit that subscribe button if you want any more tutorials or modding help, or you want to see me do some modded playthroughs. I do play a lot of Skyrim, especially modded. And yeah, peace.